Is it time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Microsoft. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, April 17, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since March 14, 2023, our system has ranked Microsoft as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.47. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 10.74% since we first listed Microsoft as a buy candidate 24 days ago. This translates to an average return of 0.45% per day since it was listed as by candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 18.15% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 9.33% and 21.13%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 3.85% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 30.39% and minus 3.01%. This translates to a price range of $201.03 to $280.11 after a year. Our latest daily update for Microsoft includes the headline, Stronger Technical Forecast for Microsoft Stock Price After Monday Trading. The Microsoft stock price gained 0.93% on the last trading day, Monday, April 17, 2023, rising from $286.14 to $288.80. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 1.9% from a day low at $286.16 to a day high of $291.60. The price has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days but is still up by 0.17% over the past 2 weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 3 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 24 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $6.88 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $294.18, and the lowest price was $213.43. Currently, the price is 1.83%, or $5.38, below the 52-week high, and 17.41%, or $60.87, below the all-time high on November 22, 2021, when the price reached $349.67. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, D.A. Davidson set a price target of 325. On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Piper Sandler set a price target of 290. On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Piper Sandler set a price target of 290. On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, D.A. Davidson set a price target of 325. On Tuesday, January 10, 2023, Barclays set a price target of 280. Analysts have given Microsoft stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Microsoft. The Microsoft stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $287.44 and $271.59. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. 
A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, April 6, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 0.96%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. The stock had a golden star signal on Monday, March 13, 2023 in the short-term chart. Golden star signal is when the short-term moving average, the long-term moving average, and price line meet in a special combination. This combination is very rare and often followed by long and strong gains for the stock in question. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 7 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 21 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 25 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 23 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, buy signal 4 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 58 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 55 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Microsoft Microsoft finds support from accumulated volume at $279.43 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock is usually traded at a good volume, and with minor daily changes, the risk is considered to be low. During the last day, the stock moved $5.44, 1.9%, between high and low. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.86%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Microsoft, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. This is a relatively normal P-E ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q1 2023 is expected on April 25, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $2.22. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Microsoft. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Microsoft is at $289.39. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Microsoft encounters its first support level at $279.43. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Microsoft from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On March 9, 2023, Warrior Padmashri conducted an insider buy of 11,206 shares of restricted stock units. On March 9, 2023, Thompson John Wendell conducted an insider buy of 71,396 shares of restricted stock units. On March 9, 2023, Thompson John Wendell conducted an insider buy of 113,047 shares of restricted stock units. On March 9, 2023, Rodriguez Carlos A conducted an insider buy of 4,732 shares of restricted stock units. On March 9, 2023, Pritzker Penny S conducted an insider buy of 29,313 shares of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 9.089. Overall, insiders purchased 201,536 shares and sold 154,203 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $277.22, minus 4.01%. 
This stock has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 6 days ago. Is Microsoft stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Microsoft stock to perform well in the short term. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a hold slash accumulate to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Tuesday, April 18th, we expect Microsoft to open up $0.0533 and start trading at $288.85. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.